Hello, we are here for the Digital Tabletop Festival. Um, we have pre-recorded this game of Wingspan, but we'll be in the chat to answer any questions you all have. I'm Elizabeth Hargrave. I designed Wingspan. I'm Krzysiek from Monster Couch, and I'll, I do a little bit of everything here. So uh, I'm the one who emailed Jamie and asked if we can do Wingspan. So that's, you know, personal achievement. Okay, so it's let's. Beautiful. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's a beautiful source material. So we are we are very happy we we had the opportunity to work with this. Uh, so uh, we are playing over the remote play from Steam. So we can we are playing just using single copy of Wingspan, and I'd like you know for us to play a cop against Automa. I'm not myself very good at the game, so maybe we can try and beat Automa together. So let's, let's not very good against the Otoma either. Okay, <laughs> that's that's that's, uh, that's good to hear. Uh, so maybe uh, you'll do this uh, setup first. So what's 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 the bird you'd you'd like to use? Yes, It'll be sir. the kingfisher right here. Oh wait. Yeah. On the top one, right? So do I do I click on that? No, no, no just click, click, go? click on the kingfisher, and we'll uh, we'll set up the colors and the and the. Oh, you know, there we go. And the portraits. Yeah. And I have to be the roseate spoonbill. <laughs> Put that in there just for me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll. Uh, okay, I can I can be the green one, and that's uh, that's that's that's. I don't know the bird, but I probably should. So maybe I'll do the green. The kingfisher. I see. Okay, so uh, it started out offering me the kingfisher, but then I got to choose my own bird. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so you can press the start now. I haven't messed around with this part of it too much. I did okay. a lot of the beta testing, but it, I just sort of always took whatever it offered me. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> so we had the the random uh, turn order. So it's it's my turn, and we'll you're going let's... first. Yeah. Okay. So so since we are playing cop. I'll of course take the flycatcher, and uh, and maybe even more food. Oh, those are some expensive starting birds. Yeah, that's. <laughs> is 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 it a suggestion <laughs> baked in in there? It's just like <laughs> each of those birds is expensive, aren't they? Um, I still want two. I I really don't like starting with just one bird. Maybe I should. No. And and the bonus cards, the birds named after a person. Do I have any? No. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's a perfect set of don't bonus have any cards. For the other one either. Yeah, I will take this one. Now I'm up. Turn. Oh, the Franklin. Bird. All right. That's a good bird. Well, that would help you, but I want birds that eat only bugs or birds that can that have a flocking power. <laughs> okay, I don't so have any flockers, but I do have this blue gray oh, mat okay. catcher that can eat only bugs, so that's a nice start. And I have a bunch of that first goal is eggs in the grassland. Huh, how should I do this? Oh, I'm tempted to keep three. Never do that. <laughs> no, actually, the, the, you mentioned that Franklin Gull would uh, benefit me, but it, but it's not the case, right? It's just it's it would let you skip the wetlands altogether if you played it in the grassland. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Maybe next time. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> I wanted this goal. Alright. Okay, so you were, uh, you know, you were quite more deliberate in your choice of the first birds, even, you know, taking a, a look at the, at the goals up there. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that's that's probably. I mean, a, a it good doesn't tip. doesn't always work out, but I try. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I'll take the. I'll I'll be friendly in this game, so I'll just go straight for the food I need for the flycatcher. Okay. Um, 
so I wanted to get my blue gray net catcher out there. I'm having there we go. Okay, so there will be now the automa is gonna go. So it got an egg and it got a cube toward the end of round goal. So it is already beating us mightily. Yeah, but it's 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 not a hard goal to beat automa, <laughs> right? So it's I'll I'll play the flycatcher in the grassland, and I'll have just enough eggs to compete in that goal. So that looks good. So I. I guess you you have done that quite a few times. Uh, what? How would you describe like wingspan? Is is there like a short pitch? You is there like a go to you have when you know people ask you about wingspan? So my sort of short thing that I say is that it's a game that is all about um, the. There's 170 unique bird cards in the game, and you're playing them out in front of you into different habitats. And as you play them in front of you, they make you better at doing basic things in the game. So as you play them into the forest, they make you better at getting food. And as you play them into the grassland, they make you better at getting eggs, which are points. And as you play them into the wetland, they make you better at getting more cards so that you can play more birds. All right, I need food for my birds. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want this. Because my gnat catcher is going to give me a bug. Uh, so the Atama has lost a cube toward the end of my goals, and it got just a face down card, which is a point for the Atama. Oh, and I always forget to do this because I don't play the Atama very often. The, the, its bonus card is the large bird specialist. So we need oh, to yeah. be paying attention to the birds in the bird in the in the row that's on offer and not letting it get birds yeah. with wingspans over 65 centimeters. Unless we could leave their uh, low points, but huge right. wingspan bird, that would be good for us, right? Right now they're safe, so... But are there any big birds with low points? I guess the vulture with... The, it yeah. has like no points, right? Yeah, right. There's probably others. I can't keep them all in my head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I... Me neither, <laughs> but <laughs> I saw this. Uh, uh, you know, on, on on our Discord, there's this. Uh, uh, there are those links to those, uh, you know, the spreadsheets that take, like, try to reverse engineer the design of the birds to try to yes. va value them and, and and see which powers are maybe overvalued or undervalued, and it's you know, <laughs> interesting to to see. Actually, I you know when I was Tr trying to do the first version of the AI for Wingspan. I was looking at the spreadsheet and, you know, maybe if if we can figure out the... G oh, actually there's this condor in the tray, so we should leave it, leave it here, there, as it will be low points for Autama. But we should take away the, right. the, the crane, right? Yeah, we do not want the Autama to get the crane. So I'm... Um, Happy to take the I, so I haven't really played multiplayer against the Atoma, and you have to, there's a little game theory going on of like who's gonna take the crane? <laughs> Do either of us want the crane? But we don't want the Atoma to get it. Yeah, well, I've, <laughs> it's uh, it's I think like the two-player uh, games really benefit from adding the Atoma as this yeah. kind of a pacemaker, but also triggering the pink powers mm -hmm. uh, thing. Oh well, that one is good for your bonus card anyway. So. Yeah, so it's 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 not like I'm throwing myself under a bus or something. It's just <laughs> it's good. It's still good for me. Yeah. All right, so I am trying to play these two cards in one turn because the blue bird lets me play another bird in the same habitat. So I have my two bugs and a berry, but I do not have my seeds yet. 
Well, you do have, have a seed. To... You do have there a seed. There are no... Oh, I have a seed! And you have axe. Why am I not yeah. seeing that? I thought I wasn't ready yet. Uh, I think okay. you're... We so I'm like... gonna go ahead... Slay them... I have to spend a bird for my sparrow... Okay, so it's laid another egg, so it's it's yeah. like using its low value cards early in the game. So I guess will be it will be more difficult later later on. But uh, so far, I think we're I have like the exact same number number of points as the Automa at the moment. But Eight. We'll see. Um, yeah. So. I, I'd want a, a rodent, but there's none in the in the beard feeder. So maybe I'll. Oh, actually, this one is also good for my bonus card. That's good for you, yeah. Yeah, and it's it's also good for you, and it's not good for the automa, right? So <laughs> this is how how it will go. I'll be getting you food from my by laying eggs in my grass. So what's the what's the what's the story of Wingspan? How how what's like what was the inspiration for it? I... Um, it really came from a conversation with some of my friends that I've been playing games with for a long time about like being really excited about the themes that are very traditional in board games and. You know, tired of playing games about castles and oh, trains. Right. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, I just started thinking, like, what would it look like to to have a game that was about something that I'm actually interested in? I see. So it's it's. I think it's 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 also similar on on Steam, right? It, it's mostly dark fantasy or or. Ah, yeah, right. You know, right. people with guns, or it's traditionally gamer y themes. Like castles. Like guys this with swords. Way for the overview. Oh, what do I Do I want any of these? None of these only eat bugs. I'm gonna want. I think I'm going to do okay on the eggs in the grassland, so I could start thinking about these next goals. Which I'm also doing decently well on, but I am not doing well on eggs in wetland. Oh, and there's a crow sitting out there. How convenient. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's... I think I'm going to take this crow. So I'll be I'll, I I still want to compete for that goal. Uh, so lay eggs and give you some more food in the process. And actually, you can go first because I want a rodent from. You want to reroll? Yeah. Okay, so you can press the next step. Okay, so it's telling me that I get stuff. I don't care, because my crow will eat anything. Okay, so I do want to reroll, and how convenient. There's two rodents in there, so that's perfect. <laughs> and now I want my... I really don't know how to pronounce this <laughs> worm. Like the problem. I mean, a lot of people call them bugs. Yeah, but it's... <laughs> The, 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 Bugs the or name slug. Um, but we in the in the rule book we say invertebrate. Invertebrate. Oh, it's it, just the big class. Okay, it's easier than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Is there a? It switched over to me just to gain. A... Is there is there a story behind you know, you working with uh, with Stonemaier Games on the game? Was this like a long process or short process? How did that look like? Um. So I pitched it to them in the summer of 2016 at um, Gen Con. Okay. And then I, I pitched it to a few other publishers also, but Stonemaier is the one that wanted to work with me. Um, and then we, Jamie Stegmaier and I worked on it for another year after the time that he signed it. So he was sort of playing the developer role. He would send me lots of ideas or suggestions. He would play test it. And then he would sort of send me this long email okay. and I would go in and make lots of changes and play test for a while. Often it would be, you know, a month or two. And then I would send something back to him and he'd play it and send me more suggestions. So I was doing most of the hands on work in the development process, but definitely with a lot of input and suggestions from and okay. very insightful changes sometimes from Jamie. Okay. I see. So it's, inter it's interesting because you so you worked for a, after pitching it, you worked together for a year before actually signing yeah. on the game, right? No, he signed it and then Oh, okay. And then we kept working on it. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah, I, I did after I pitched it I did work on it for a few months that they sort of left it at like we gave you a bunch of feedback at the pitch meeting implement some of that and send us a copy and then we'll see if we want it and so okay. it was probably I think it was about November when I sent them the new version after Gen Con so I pitched it in August they signed it in December and then we worked on it for a year. Okay. And then there's a long time period, even after my part was done, that, it, you know, the artists were working on it. And mm -hmm. so I, even after I was done, it took another year before it was actually for sale. Uh, oh, this is the last turn of the round. I haven't been watching. There's a way to check how many eggs everyone has, right? So yeah. that's uh, one way is to look at that. You're, you have the lead. Um, so I'm fine. I don't necessarily need to lay more eggs in the grassland, but I can. Because it would help me get food. I might go take this skimmer, get it out of the hands of the Toma, and then I can also get some food for it while I'm at it. I'm going to take the skimmer. Are you I want to spend, and I'm gonna spend an egg to get another card too while I'm at it. So that's I'm gonna get that off the gnat catcher. I'm gonna take the skimmer and I'm gonna just draw blind for my other guy. And now you can discard an egg to get the food from the. Oh, that's for the crow. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I should be at the the big the picture overview. view. Yeah, I think it's uh, yeah. you're scrolling really quickly, and that's moving two habitats at, at the same time, right? Right. Uh, thank you for uh, letting me uh, tie with you on this uh, on this goal. Oh, so <laughs> I missed that. <laughs> Counted wrong. <laughs> That's okay, it's not so many points in the first round. Yeah, it's well uh, and the important thing is that we beat the Atoma. <laughs> well, yeah, well but so 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 in that sense it was a bad move because it it got me one point, but it costed you two points, right? So it's uh well I'm 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 glad you did that. I'll be, you know, closer to not losing with Atoma that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's your turn because yep. uh each round we we will switch who's right. starting, right? Now we want eggs in cavity nests. This is the best way to see that. So I've just got this bird, but it's got five holes. 
And if I can get at my burrowing owl, that'll be good too. So... I think I will go here and beef up on some eggs just to get it done. There was one thing I was uh, meaning to ask you uh, before, but you know we didn't really get to that. Was is there a is there a reason why there are three cards in the tray on the wetland? Is like any reasoning behind the number three here? Why not eight? Can we or... try different amounts? They have a lot of information on them. And so it's just like for my playtesters, more than three was often information overload. Oh yeah, okay. Um, yeah, and that's... so, like the two cards that are on offer, the faster the game goes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we have a busy street just. Yeah. Outside, yeah. Okay, so it's it's uh. Oh, look at that tiny bird that you can eat. <laughs> yeah, P poor, <laughs> poor, small. poor run. Yes, very, very small. And I'm feeling bad about my falcon, but you know the falcon has to eat, right? Uh... <laughs> well, I don't really care. Do you which... want a fruit? I don't want a fruit. Do you want a fruit? You can go. F you know, let me do it first. No, you need fish. Right? Uh, I don't want a fruit either. I want the fish. fish. The hummingbird is back to you. Okay. So how's the? I my guess is since oh shit oh. <laughs> Again, a, another difficult word, right? So uh, it is Oceania. <laughs> Oceania, right? So since it's uh, it's launching very soon, so you're probably working on the next expansion, right? Yes, I'm like in the middle of a giant spreadsheet. I think I've just gotten the list of birds finished hopefully oh. Oh. I'm, I have some people checking it for me um, it's you know all of these bonus cards are looking for different types of birds and I put on them the little percentages about oh, how yeah. many birds are in the game which even if I hadn't put the percentages I would want it to be similar anyway because the way that the cards score is based on how common they are in the deck um, but then, because there are so many of those oh. bonus cards, um, it means there are just a lot of things to balance out against each other when I'm coming up with the list of birds. Oh. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of limits your choices a little bit when it comes to birds and expansions, right? Because with each expansion there's even yeah. more bonus cards or is this like more of a guiding exactly card? exactly and so like i end up there's one in the in the english version of the base game that is the historian it's looking for birds with people's names oh yeah um it's one of and... those and yeah it's one of those that don't really work in polish that's right know. it didn't work in a lot of the other languages which when i was working on wingspan i did not even conceive of the idea that it would be translated <laughs> into many different languages <laughs> but um, also yeah. it's that turns out to be something that is very different from continent to continent oh in europe even in the english bird names it's very uncommon for there to be birds that have a person's name in their title because I think they didn't... All of the ornithologists were in Europe when they okay. were naming birds. And they didn't discover things the oh, same yeah. way that things got discovered in Asia and, you know, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Australia, wherever. So, like, birds get named after people when they get discovered. <laughs> Dis um... Discovered to the Western <laughs> culture, right? 
Exactly. And uh, so it's very, very uncommon that birds in Europe are named after people. So I had to like, there's one that they just split a species into two different species based on DNA. Oh, okay. And so one of the new one is named after one of the ornithologists that worked on doing that, you know, those kinds of things. <laughs> That's a super uncommon oh, yeah. bird that no one's heard of. Not getting any. Oh, we haven't seen any. Oh, it's none have come up yet, right? In the deck, I, I, th th there was okay. this uh, a little bit funny thing that came up just after we launched Digi Digital Wingspan because there was a, there were players on the uh, both on Discord and on the Facebook group that came and 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 they felt that maybe the deck is loaded towards them, so it's like they get those. Oh, I've seen people saying that! High value birds, because now they are scoring better than they are used to in the board game. So that's... Uh, so what's the answer? Is it totally random? It's... Uh, well, it's, it's, it's not like, you know... In computer science, random is very difficult, so we are not using some, you know, true random algorithms in there that would, you know, require atomic clocks or anything. But it's it's you know it's as random as computers get, you know, usual random for okay. a computer game. So it's uh, yeah. it's 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 definitely not biased towards you know giving you better. Maybe maybe it's because the AI uh, we have the, the medium medium AI in the game and it doesn't. Okay, so maybe I'll phrase it better. When playing two-player games, players are you know when you're playing against an experienced player you are used to having them you know if a chihuahua and raven comes up they will jump on it and take it away so just you don't have it right yeah and the ai doesn't do that well the the hard ai will definitely do that but the, the medium ai doesn't do that yet and it's uh okay it's one of the ways you can get a a big head start against ai if you have the a few of those high value birds and you, you can take them away from them so it's uh so right now you you just have the one ai is that no, correct so, so it's, it's we, we medium do have, we had, we do have the the easy ai as well and and the medium one and they uh. are the the difference okay. is mostly the uh you know the, the scoring scoring function we use behind the scenes uh, so the easy yeah. AI will try to get less points than the medium AI. You know, it's it's one of the challenges in in designing AI. So it's once you have an you know the computer player playing reasonably well, you then have to come up with a way to make it dumber, and it's not always you know easy. <laughs> Because it has to, you know, make those. It's it, you still don't want the computer player to to do like completely wasted moves, right? It's it still has to appear like an intelligent player, just maybe making right. a mistake, right? Or just playing right, right. not optimal moves, not just you know wasting time taking cards and never playing them or or, or things like yeah. that. Yeah, is is dark eyed counting towards the photographer? Dark. Uh, no. It's not a color, right? Okay. Not a color, it's a... It's an adjective that you would add on to a color. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dark blue, dark green. Yeah, so we are, we are still... But since oh, this is, you know, this is... Thomas still gonna beat me, I thought I had it! <laughs> So okay. since this is broadcasted in the future, maybe we already have the hard AI in the game. Who knows? <laughs> oh, are you that close? Uh, I think we are. We we are very close. Uh, you know. It's exciting. It's. Uh, we would still probably be cal calling it a hard AI beta thing. So we we still have that leeway of yeah. you know if it ever scores. 
below 80 points we can say ah it's just a beta and we are still testing it and improving it but it's uh you know it's yeah it, it's definitely something we would want to get out there and maybe still work on improving it as we go Yeah, no mercy. <laughs> That's gonna show us. Okay, so I, I think I'm. Is there the somewhere one. that it shows all of the, the scores? Yeah, it's. Uh, I think you have to that. open the, the the goals screen, and it's here at the bottom of the screen. I think if I, I switch to your screen this is your points or maybe it's still showing you mine okay so it's 38 to 39 right now oh yeah i'm i have one more point it's when looking at the habitats it looks so much more full in your uh yours than in mine but maybe i have yeah the flycatcher and the crane. birds are worth a lot more points yeah yep. actually maybe that's you know uh I would, I would take even more high value birds and <laughs> this will be the perfect strategy. And actually I, I, when I play I tend to focus on the last goal because it's worth, yeah, yeah that, that's a big difference, right? Best when point. you win on, on that one. I have to discard something. Alright, I do want to get out some eggs. I have what I need to pay this lazuli bunting. Ooh. So that leaves even more eggs. And it counts toward the goal. There's time. I think I will go ahead and put that out. Problem is, I'm spending eggs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but oh little... well. I think that's, it's worth it. That's one of the birds. Keep that we... giving me food that oh, I yeah. can spend for that that <laughs> fifth egg. So yeah, I'll see how that works. I'll be giving you food by laying eggs, so <laughs> you're, you're safe on that front. But yeah, I want some eggs, and I want a fish. That's a catch. So you go first, but that doesn't matter, right? Uh, it's there will still be no fish in there. Okay. But I got all my fish. I don't actually have any cards right now. What? Um... So you want to go to the... See what's on offer? Oh, this is covering up what the birds yeah, so, are. So are there's this, uh, okay. this arrow just next to the... Uh, like, oh! Yeah, that's so clever. It's new. It's, uh, it, it wasn't in the beta, that's right. Um, so if I wanted to maybe do that... Oh, yeah, the cormorant. It's not a huge deal. That would be a fish in a wild doesn't I haven't been paying attention to what you want so I'm not sure what to do no, I just want a fish but it's not there so it's <laughs> not very helpful but uh, there will be yeah I, I don't need fruit that's for sure oh we have unlocked a, an achievement oh because I'm giving you so much food in this game uh, I've. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So that's that's uh, that's the first one for me. Yeah. All right. Um, gonna lay some eggs. All the eggs, and I want them in, in the bowl nest. The yeah. underground goal. I want a bowl and a star and a star. That's all of those. Oh, but in the end, I'm gonna want. Oops. Can I undo yep. eggs? Yep, one by one. <laughs> Down here for the next round. Oh. Yep. <laughs> sure, we can do this. So I'm do I do still that. have any slots on my bonus? I wonder. No roll dice outside the bird feeder, no mice. That burrowing owl is not a good hunter. Who? The does the case inspire? Yeah, the burrowing. We had the, I think it's the burrowing owl that was hiding its uh, uh, its caching score, like behind the wings, so it wasn't really visible. But uh, we fixed that, and it's it's still not a great hunter for you. <laughs> okay, I do have just one last slot for that perfect egg. Yes, thank you very much. So it's one egg for all of the food I've given you over the, you know, the course of the game. Uh. <laughs> okay, so what do I do now? I, I really hoped for that puffin, but it's it doesn't seem like it's happening. The rolling, <sighs> yeah. Okay, maybe it's. Still something I'll get out and lay even more eggs. All right. Um, I don't have any birds. <laughs> well, th there is plenty of them in your habitats, just not very many of yeah, them. Yeah, the... it's true. I want any of these. I'm getting <laughs> are, a bonus card it might be cool. They're all about bonus cards. Yeah. Seems like a decent time to do that. Yeah, but that's only Let's King Grail for you, I'm right? Things. Do a King Rail. And you don't have any slots know. in your grasslands anymore. Oh, thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> yeah, I just hope. And I only have one slot in my wetland. Yep. <laughs> Let's see. For this, I want to discard, I guess, from down here. And. Oh, that common yellow thread is very good for me. That's gonna be my last one. Oh yeah, because it counts for your better than a chance on a thing. But is it worth more? You know, since you. I don't be, know. It's just it will be worth just three points, and you're paying two eggs to play it. So maybe you're better oh, off. Oh right, just I, about, I always forget about the egg land. I mean, this guy's worth eight points, not for no matter what. Oh yeah. That's also very attractive. That's a sure thing. So you're discarding I got egg. the sure thing. Yeah. I have to discard an egg, get a mouse. Not sure thing is whether I can get three mice. <laughs> and it just took one from the And the other one just took it out of the bird <laughs> like, I mean, I can use my crew to do it. Yeah, it's uh, the special technology we use to for the wingspan to listen to your conversation <laughs> about what was the food you need from I... the, Yeah, that's something the hard AI should do, right? <laughs> it's just in, in like, case. There's a term in that. In, there's a term for that in psychology. Is it confirmation bias? Oh or yeah. Is that something else? The, the phenomenon that like when you're looking for something, it's always start seeing it more <laughs> clearly that's what's happening oh actually that, that's 
I just clicked by by back accident, but I don't I don't think we have explained that very well in the game. If you right click uh, when looking at your habitats, so you can see the trivia from the, the like the descriptions from the from the from the game. Oh yeah, I didn't know that. It's fun. All right, I have my one mouse. There's no mice in the bird feeder. Could put out a bunch of eggs in my wetland. I have that many holes for them. I think we are... I could just go here, which might give me... Definitely gives me a mouse. And it has a chance of giving me... A very low chance of giving me one more, more point. Oh, and I can keep accumulating fish, which will add up to a mouse. Oh, so that helps. Right. Actually, if you if you go and lay eggs now, oh, not happening anymore. Okay, no go, no go, no going back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's. Do you still want even more fish? Oh, I, f I forgot to pay attention. Well, I maxed out on my number of birds with the eggs. Oh, okay, right, but it's... Yeah. It's not eggs. Oh, right, you need uh, mouse, mice for the... Yeah. I wanted to get mice. And thank you for the fish. Welcome. Oh. Oh! Thank you, Altana. <laughs> So close. Yeah, and it's your turn again. <laughs> Alright, eggs in the wetlands. What I really want. So how many how many eggs are you laying each turn now? Because you can do five if I have extra food. But you can also lay two from the the boon I don't know how oh, to right, pronounce right, the right. bird's name. Yeah, but it's, it's a lot of points. So it's like seven points, sure. right? I just wanted to get this golden eagle out, because that's a bunch of points. Too. But it's like six points, um, right? Because you pay two eggs to lay... It's, exactly. So it's it's still possible that it, just laying eggs would be more like worth more points, right? I don't have infinite space for my eggs. But if you have... Just only oh, it's still five turns to go, and if you lay seven eggs per turn, yeah, so it's you don't have that many slots for them. That's right. Right. You will. Of course, this eagle's only giving me one slot. So now that we are done with the last previous round, I can get rid of that. All right. I have a feeling from here on out, it's going to be all X. So you guys are also thinking about doing the European expansion, right? Oh, yes, definitely. Uh, um, that changes up some of the incentives around the eggs. Well, I, <laughs> I must admit, I haven't played the European expansion yet. I just briefly looked through the, <laughs> like, I think it was just around the the when the expansion was out i was very eager to look into the you know the rule book and see how many things we need what you know what are the things we can prepare prepare up front mm. for the future you know to not to be right you know, not to build it in a way that you can't do the future yeah. things right so that's one of the things that uh it's it's not visible now because we just started this round. But in the in the European expansion, you suddenly start counting how many actions that round you have put into one of the. Oh those, right, right, right. So we that's one of the things that we started counting. We like because we. To be frank, we really wanted to just get rid of those symbols because you know it, we felt you don't really need that in a digital adaptation. And then the European expansion came in, and we were like, okay, so we. You do. There, there's actually a reason for us to get go back and add them. So many cards. 
I should have. Oh, yeah, a, a lot in the European expansion. A lot of the end of round goals are about things that are not eggs. So even just that changes feeling okay. a lot. But also there are a lot of birds that let you. There are more birds that let you tuck cards. Um, and cash food, and so those become additional ways that you can get points in a single turn. Oh, okay. Without having to say, I'm getting food, I'm getting the card, and now I'm going to get the points, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's, 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 uh, I, it's, it's pretty much a consensus among the players that European expansion is, you know, awesome when it comes to balancing out some of the birds from the base game. So it's like, you know, the, yeah. the, the ravens are less of an issue with the European expansion. And that's, you know, that's one of the things we, we, we didn't really want to go into with the base game is, is, is the competitive kind of factor or you know like adding the leaderboards and and things like that mm -hmm. but but maybe with the european expansion in that would be something we can go and revisit uh for the game because uh there will be less of an you know inclination to say you you got the raven and that's why you won maybe i still think it's <laughs> you know it's 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 an excuse people people use but it's you know i saw once um for race for the galaxy you know they have this ai that's been available for a long time you can you can download oh, yeah, the yeah. program and play against the computer and people have kept statistics by card if you played <laughs> this card at some point during the game how like how much more likely were you to win and um be interesting you guys could potentially capture that kind of data right or can i don't know how much you can yeah well we could it's uh, <laughs> we we don't do much of analytics yet in the game but that's something yeah. we could you know well there's obviously uh some maybe worries among players of if you they wouldn't want us to look too closely into how they play but it's you know so right. it's a, everything is anonymized Fair. and it's it's just more data for us to use to maybe maybe I, I don't know about balancing the game because that would that's not something we would want to do but, but maybe you know make the AI better like make it learn I, from players okay. right? So what 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 board right. games are you playing lately? Noma has hmm? So what's what are the board games you're playing lately? And oh, what have I been playing? I just played for the first time Forbidden Desert. Forbidden which Desert. I had never gotten around to, and um, which is a mat like a cooperative game. And I was really intrigued by the way the tiles move around. I thought it was really cool. Um, what else? I've been trying to get my husband to learn, but he hasn't done it yet. Um, the search for planet X, search for planet which X, which is by a friend of mine. I play tested it a lot. Matthew O'Malley is one of the designers of that, and and he lives close to me. And we play test before the pandemic. We were play testing together <laughs> once a week. Oh, nice. Um, and. Uh, so I have played the Search for Planet X many, many, many times, <laughs> and uh, now how to? I really it. love it. It's like it's a logical deduction game, and um, yeah, like there's an app. So th the hidden information is all handled by an app, and you're trying to deduce literally where Planet X is oh, on okay. this. Um, little map and uh, I just I love logical deduction in general and I really like the way they implemented it for this game how about you 
well, f our Gloomhaven sessions were on hold for the past couple of months, but we finally got a chance to get back together and continue the campaign. So that's that's, that's the board game for for me for the probably foreseeable future. Yes. Yeah, but it's. Yes. Uh, I also played Everdell, uh, and that's that's one of the reasons I asked about the you know the the tri tr tray, uh, the number of cards in the tray, okay. because that's uh, uh, that that's an interesting mechanic in there, because it lets you have so many. Oh man, I'm I was talking and I, I'm full on eggs. I have no birds in this thing. Yeah, it's hard to talk and play at the same time. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I imagine it's even worse when you're not talking in your native language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I, I've, I've, I'm brought myself in a weird corner with this one. Uh, I'd like a, to play a bird in my wetland. But, uh, yeah, and the puffin is laughing at me. Uh, okay, so maybe. <laughs> it's so cute, though. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, so you're, you're doing really well against the automa. Maybe I can help you somehow with that goal. Do you have any slots left in the wetland? No. So oh, I, I, yeah. So that's not There's happening. There's no way I can do any better than I am on okay, that. Okay, so maybe I could. So what? So what are you up to? You wanna play some more birds in your, or are you just? Oh, you have some slots in your. Oh, uh, I can lay eggs maybe one more time. I, but I only have two turns left. Okay, so this I'm... is the problem. Might have to play. I'll probably play a forest bird out of my hand if I can. Okay. I don't remember what's in there. Because actually, if I gain food in my forest, I will just get one dice. But if I lay eggs, even though yeah. I, I have no slots left, I still can get two points maybe on my uh, predators. One. Oh, yeah. Dice from the hummingbird and also food from the flycatcher. So it's, it's it feels wrong because I'm wasting so many eggs. But yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's both of them succeeding. So that's a good one point. Yeah. So let's gain food. And actually, what food do I need? I I want to play the. American Alpha set. I'll go first and grab a worm. So it's your turn to take something. Okay. So if I can, I have two bugs. I want to play something in my forest, but I don't have any forest birds in my hand. I don't think I have enough turns to do anything. Um, so I think it doesn't matter. So I'll just go ahead and reset. It's in the... I don't have time to do any of these. Yeah, I think we've... <laughs> Speaking of time, I think we have run way <laughs> over our time slot. So we'll have to, you know... Oh. We'll, we'll have to figure out, you know, maybe we can edit it somehow or yeah. see. I guess the automa adds a certain amount of time. Oh, so it has 10, 10 yeah, points. It's oh, my turn again. Yeah, your turn, sorry. Um. Uh, so you have two moves left. Yes. So you could... I'm just looking at my wetlands. So the only points that I can get by going in the wetland are my golden eagle and my skimmer. Definitely have room for these eggs. 
I will go one, two, three, four. Might as well spend a bug. I don't need four of them. Is that my puffin laughing in the background? <laughs> No mouse this time. So I think I'm there. Okay. And I have no slots for bird for the eggs. But I do have the food for this one. Nice. But actually I wanted to play the one in the wetland, right? Because this would give me more slots in the wetland, so but I'm Right, if you're gonna lay eggs next yeah, time. Yeah, but it's not comp I'm st I won't be competitive in this goal anyway. So the one in the forest will be cheaper because it will not cost me any Six eggs. Six points. So. Yep. All right. So that's the final move. Last turn. Can't play any of these birds. I have space for one egg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that the move um, you're making? Uh. <laughs> I think that's what I have to do. That's a guaranteed point plus a plus my owl will hunt. Go there. Watch Activate it, but don't lay any eggs, okay? <laughs> Got a point for my owl. Can't lay any more eggs. This is an unusual game for me. Usually I don't totally max out my eggs. Oh, but thank you for the for the bow leg. That's not completely wasted. So that's, <laughs> that's good. So that's, this is my final turn. I have no, <laughs> no food. And... Uh, Okay, so I will also. Uh, lay we, I think we were both talking and not not planning. Yes. <laughs> okay. But maybe the predators can make it worth it. Okay, so let's I... not. Yeah, I'll skip you. Yeah, no reason. Oh, actually. Can I go back? I want the food because if I uh, if I if I tie with the automa, I need at least two food to actually tie right. with it and not lose, right? Right. Okay, so we need to take something. Oh, and now it's giving me food. I'll go ahead and just take a fish. And whole players gain a war. Oh, so it's uh, you drew on the the satai on on, on the oh, because you lost the cube. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. Right. <laughs> so let's see how the scoring went. <laughs> oh, that's the that's the last worm. Right, the moment of truth. They are so slow. I wonder how many points did we... <laughs> oh, you were close on that. This is looking good. <laughs> this is good for us. I think it helps against the Atoma that you have two people stealing its cards out of the tray. Oh, yeah. The medium Yay! Atoma, 70 points. Good job, you have 94 points. And I have 83, and we have beaten together the medium automa. That's that's nice. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we'll, we'll wrap up. Uh, thank you for for joining me, and uh, yeah, I, I have to admit I had a I I, I, w I was thinking we will have way less points than that. So we've done pretty good, even though we were talking all the time. Right, right. We were giving each other a lot of food and yeah. eggs, so that That's helps. Right. That helps, right. Okay, so uh, thank you, and uh, 
and see you in the <laughs> for the next round of Wingspun uh, some sometime in the future. Absolutely, that'd be great. Okay.